God is saying, you're going to make it without what you thought you had to have. You're going to make it without what you've lost. You're going to make it without what didn't work out. I was very close to my father. I worked 17 years with him behind the scenes at Lakewood and we had traveled the world together. I used to think, what's going to happen when my father is not here? 1999, he suddenly went to be with the Lord. I still miss him, but I realize now I made it without my father. I made it without going to seminary. I made it without the formal training. All these things I thought I had to have, I didn't need them. When I stepped up to pastor the church, most of the people were for me, but there were a few that I had known for years. They were very for my father, but they weren't supportive of me. They loved me, but they wanted me to do it their way. I've learned you have to be you. There's no anointing on your life to be like somebody else. You're anointed to be you. At first, it kind of bothered me that they weren't for me. I worried about what if they leave? What if they don't support me? Eventually, they did leave, but it wasn't what I thought. Things didn't fall apart. I made it without their support. I made it without their encouragement. I made it without the boat. Sometimes God will take things away that we think we need. So we have to depend on him and not people, not the contract, not the position. Can I tell you, you're going to make it without that person that walked away, without that friend that betrayed you, without that spouse that left you. I know it's painful, but they weren't your savior. You already have a savior. He's got you in the palm of his hand. If they left you, then you didn't need them. If you had to have them to fulfill your purpose, they would have stayed. You have to accept that they weren't a part of your destiny and move forward. As long as you're looking back, focused on what you lost, on why didn't they stay? Why did my boat break apart? You will miss the new things God has in store. You can still get to the shore. It just may not happen the way you think. God's ways are not our ways. We can get so set on how we think it's going to happen, what we need, who's going to be there, that we get discouraged if it doesn't fit into our plans. We have to stay open. God knows what's best for us.